One of the things I've, I've learned over the, uh, the last uh, three or four years that I've really been focused on sustainability is it's a long and lonely journey if you try and do this by yourself. As, as a sustainability practitioner, I think sometimes you can feel a bit of a lone voice. I mean, sustainability itself is probably more of a value set. You're often talking about the ability to be able to um, work um, in a small team without a large budget um, but still somehow managing to make a massive impact around your organisation. I think there's a, num- a number of different skills sustainability practitioners need to have. Um, I think that probably the crucial one is going to be communication skills, um, be able to explain things to make them simple, but have impact when they do s- communicate. The kind of skills are often um, personality type, interpersonal skills, strong communication skills, strong ability to be able to influence, um, strong ability to be able to negotiate, um, the ability to be able to talk um, sensibly at the top table, but all e- equally with you know your peers and with, with colleagues or subordinates. The way in, originally where people were using very strong uh, campaigning language that the NGOs had had to use uh, just to be heard is no longer relevant and it's We've got to change that into very much more positive uh, sort of uh, language and to demonstrate the financial benefits of why we do it. Sustainability practitioners um, can really influence organisations in being more innovative by, um, I suppose, giving um, a clear indication of where they see they add value. Acting as an advisor about the language about sustainability and making it more understandable translating that into your uh, internal communications and into your external marketing materials so that it's embedded in the philosophy and the culture of your company. You can't underestimate the value of of groups like um, the ASP in bringing people together to share uh, knowledge and best, best practice. The opportunity to network together, to share ideas, to share information, to learn from each other to take away something from a meeting. The more explicit groups can be about what their role is in sustainability, how they translate it, what it is that they're contributing and how they're delivering those results. The best way to do that is through a shared network of people. It's like a university, if you like, for sustainability, um, to take forward good ideas and translate them into action.